<laughs> no pressure or anything. Okay. Um, on his question, so there's a number of states that were going to be debating it or doing a resolution yep. this year. And uh, I looked at the website and there's times and I was seeing updates. So have we gained any additional states this year? No, we haven't. Or has it not uh, debated them? Or? It's been debated all over the country. Four states last year. North Carolina is still in session. They're in a weird, they've gone out on recess. We passed in the House in North Carolina. And we're in the Senate right now pending their return to debate their budget. They got stalled out on their budget and they got tired and they took a semi-permanent recess. So I think we have a really good shot in North Carolina this year. We passed in Kansas, but Kansas has a legal requirement in their state constitution for two-thirds vote instead of simple majority. That's actually unconstitutional because it puts the Kansas Constitution supreme to the United States. That's going to have to be likely litigated and we're working on that. So I expect we'll add roughly two states this year. And right now what we're actually doing is gearing up for next year. Why is Idaho not a state that is yeah. doing anything about this? You have to bring up my most painful place, don't you? <laughs> I love Idaho. It's one of the most beautiful states in the country. It's a very conservative state. The John Burke Society is very big in Idaho. And they're opposed to this. They stand with Planned Parenthood, La Raza, and all those other groups. And the reason, to be fair, I, I want to say their piece fairly, is they fear a runaway convention. This is the only argument against convention of states that you'll ever hear from anybody on the right. The left uses the same argument as well. The idea of a runaway convention is that the delegates can get into convention, and then they can do whatever they want, and they're going to erase the entire Constitution. They cannot do that. The reality is the process is limited by the resolutions passed by the states. There's only three subject matter areas and so on and so on. And if you get to the very end, let's say I'm completely wrong about that, it takes 38 states to ratify. I say this to folks who are opposed to us all the time. If you're worried about 38 states ratifying something you wouldn't like, tell me what that thing is, and then give me the list of the 38 states. I give out my personal email address. I've literally given it out on air on Hannity and Shapiro and all these shows, millions of people. I've never gotten that email because you can't do it. The idea of a runaway convention was created by the radical left intentionally to keep conservatives from using the Constitution to save the Constitution. So to anybody who says, oh, I'm worried about a runaway convention, well, you're now a tool of the radical left. Welcome to George Soros. Yeah. And we're going to have to close with that. I'll stick around if you guys have any questions. If you want to come up and chat with me, I'll stick around as long as you all like. Yes, we'll get Jamie? Uh, if you're interested in more